Hello everyone, welcome back to Maggie UK. This is Maggie. Hope everyone is fine. Today I will be covering the topic for people who want to come and study in UK for masters. Um, this is basically for um, international students who would like to come and uh, join here in UK for uh, masters. There are different courses. We are going to discuss about this one. They are the requirements, what requirements we need for masters to study in UK. We are going to look into it. The first thing is like, um, for example, what are the things we are going to look into this topic is like fees, what kind of fundings, accommodation, uh, what are the courses, how many years. So let's begin. So first we are going to look what are the different types of uh, courses offered for masters. Uh, masters in data science, they have uh, masters in data science, masters in big data and artificial intelligence, cyber security, networking, computer science and many more. So now uh, we are going to look into there are two types of uh, people who can study in this um, country is like full time and part time course offered um, in all universities. Um, example, there are many universities here which I can list some of them. Very good universities like Oxford, Imperial, Cambridge. Um, I Because I live close to where I'm living is so I have um, taken some of the information about University of Greenwich. Uh, like lots of international students like um, from India, North India, um, like many like Andhra Pradesh, like many people come and study here. So I have collected some of the information which might be useful for you. Uh, for full time, it's like one year. It's, uh, similarly, like uh, you go uh, for your university and you study like every single day and you need to spend most of the time in uh, finding information, referring website, um, keep on studying, getting information and doing practices like that. That is called one year full time. And if you go for part time, uh, people who go for part time is basically um, who works um, like uh, in this country most of them do part time because if you come from india you can't do part time it's basically only for people who already work in this country and they want to take the course like um, splitting into two years so they will be going for the part time so we are going to look for the process um, how um, like international students want to come and do the pg here if you are already done your um, ug uh, for each university you will have an agent so when you want to uh, go and research, you go and research in the um, website, see which university is um, very close to your relatives. Sometimes they may be relatives who stay here. If you want to live close by them, you look at that university, how is the rating, what kind of accommodation. So you have to finalize which university you want to go. And then for each university, you will have an agent. You can't go directly and apply for the university for international student. For each university, you will have an agent. What you need to do is you need to first do your IELTS exam, which is for people whose um, English is not the first language. For basically India, I think we all, always have English as your uh, first language as well. So I don't think you need IELTS exam. but. But some university, they definitely ask like the top university like Oxford, Cambridge, they will ask for IELTS exam, which you need to get above 6.0. For people who come from Sri Lanka, because I have uh, um, asked some of the Sri Lankan students who are studying in the Greenwich. So for people who are coming from Sri Lanka, they have to do IELTS exam, which they need to score for six because they, they don't have English as their first language. For like India, because you did your uh, UG in English, so I don't think you need that one for uh, for not the top university. For the university which is like the medium rated, like University of Greenwich, lots of universities around the UK. So this is the um, first thing you need to look for the agent and you need to submit all your documents to them. And then the agent will try for you everything and once they will uh, contact the university for example if the agent say like this person has got a, a place which they get a letter from the uh, from the university that letter once is given to you what you need to do is you need to go after that only you, need, you can apply for your visa to come to UK so people would like to come and uh, study here in UK there are two um, uh, time you can join the course which is in September start and January start so if you want to come and join in September it goes from September to the end of another next year September if you want to join in January uh, which is January 2022 then you will complete in January 2023 okay so this is the two years the every uh, masters uh, people will come and join the course here so I'm going to talk about what is MS data science 
if you if you really want to go for MSc data science, this is MBAC, the um, this is equip graduates to embark the high skilled careers in data science, in artificial intelligence and machine learning. So this is a current trend in UK for data science. If you really like to go for a data science in another 10 years, your job is going to be guaranteed because data scientists are everywhere now. People are coming from India. When I see like lots of people are coming and joining data science, big data and artificial intelligence uh, for the course to do the masters. For full-time students, as I said, is nearly like a full-time job. So you need to put all your potential, you need to learn according to how you work in industries. So that's why if you really have to go for a full-time, you have to dedicate your whole uh, job and everything and you fully concentrate on your um, studies and you will gain because the subject is very tough. What kind of subjects, I'm going to, to let you know what kind of subjects you will be covering in data science. So I'm going to first talk about the international students. If you really want to come and study here, the fees is like. So for international students, it's 14,000 um, pounds, which is UK money, 14,000 pounds. And for home student, it is 8,500 pounds. It will vary, depends upon the university, like some university maybe um, will ask you not only 8,500, it will be 10,500 pounds. And for international students, it may vary more than 18,000 Pounds. The international students, um, 14,500 is only for the fees. If you want to come to this country, you need to look about your accommodations and you have to pay for um, insurance, uh, which is for the um, health insurance, which is 500 pounds. As well as for the first beginning, you will have to pay for four, 450 uh, for some kind of fees you need to pay before you come to this country. And you need to show every single month some kind of uh, 1500 to 2500 pounds in your bank account it should always be in your account um, then only you can come here uh, because they will look uh, for the visa processing they will look all these kind of things and the fees is a separate amount uh, you need to pay but when you come before you want to start the course 60 percent fees should be paid for international students and for home students is just for a little lemon I mean, because they know they are going to be only in this country and for home students they can get a loan which is postgraduate loan you can apply and um, which you can apply for the whole fees which is 10,500 if the university says your course fees is 10,500 that is a maximum amount that um, student loan company will be giving you for the postgraduate loan and it will be split into three installments so 3500 another next second installment in first installment in september second installment in april and then the final one and three three times they will pay you and then you will pay the fees at that time uh, depends upon whenever they will ask you to pay your fees for international students um, your agent will do all the process and the visa once you get the um, visa then only you will have a contact between you and your university like what course you you can take what modules and i'm going to come into the data science as i said this is a biggest trend in uk at the moment people are um, uh, getting um, jobs in data science and you have uh, modules like statistic um, people come from different backgrounds it's not only from the computer background you can study the data science um, because people can come from different fields like physics because as i know like lots of people are coming from physics um, side not even computer background they are still coming and learning um, the data science which you have machine learning which is the biggest uh, thing you can look anywhere in the job careers if you see there's a machine learning uh, job opportunities available and they have applied machine learning they have statistics they have a graph and modern database and they have some two option courses which you can uh, choose a cloud computing as well as anti money laundering so for the modules, um, as you have to do MSc uh, project, which is 60% credit and all other courses like big data, you have data visualization and you have uh, machine learning, applied machine learning, programming fundamentals, which you can do Python and R and as well as statistical. This is all the compulsory models you need to do for data science and options in uh, like two options you have. One options you will have cloud computing grid and data visualization and um, a blockchain which between these two you can choose one and another option is uh, anti-money laundering and graph and modern database in graph and modern database is no sql databases like Cassandra, mongodb uh, redis like all these ones you will study so you you have to choose which option you want to 
um, you want to take between anti-money laundering and graph and modern database this is all comes for 15 credit and the most important is the ms project um, which is a 60 percent credit that is the most important one you need to do a viva you need to do a, um, a demo everything will be done at the end of the course so we look for accommodation now people who are come from international students the agency will look for you they will um, join with other students and you can also take a separate uh, room outside and you can that will be very cheaper for you if you go for like um, ensued with an uh, university campus that is going to be a very expensive one but you will get all the facilities like you have a separate room depends upon it will start from 160 pound per week so you need to calculate for how many for a month you may be spending um, like uh, four like 400 to 500 or 500 to 1000 between so that is going to be expensive and you can also go for part time job um, definitely because students can work here for 20 hours so you can but you can't get like um, like top uh, company jobs we can go for a restaurant job i can go for a waitress job and you can go like if you know anybody in a half license shop you can work so but definitely you will find a job that will support you for financially when you do your master's data science so but the beginning starting time it will be hard for you for maybe a couple of months once you get your job you can easily able to offer your course as well as you can afford for your rent as well as for your fees and everything will be um, helpful for you people who come from europe countries they will get a, a bursary for them as well for their studies and if you are really good in your undergraduates in india you will you will get lots of scholarship awards in uk as well for people come from international students and um, you will be assessed uh, like by your exam project but because of people who are coming at this time for the covid pandemic uh, they all been assessed only by the coursework and by the project but people who come and study maybe after everything will be all right you will be assessed by the exam as well and your coursework will be uh, marked and you will get your um, results within 15 days your feedback will be coming to you in your moodle like everything will be accessed by the teams you know like everywhere there's a teams and moodles that people used to um, study online so I have been uh, covered most of the things for people who want to come and study here um, international students basically as well as home student because I know like lots of people who are already uh, studying data science as a home students as well because if they want to switch their career from the testing if you want to do from the testing to a uh, data science that is uh, because the market is open for people who are already here they, they know what is uh, uh, very important for the current trend so they are doing uh, data science as well there's also big data people do computer science like java programming like python and r is the uh, fundamental uh, everything is there that is the current market trend so if you really would like to go for this course choose data science because you can look and research in the internet which is um, which is helpful for you so hope this video will help um, in all the way for people who want to come and study in england if you would like uh, more information please um, put me in the comment box and i will um, I'll respond to you or i will make another video if you if collect all the information collect all the questions and i will be answering you more in my next video hope you like this video now if you like my video please like share subscribe to my channel don't forget to press the bell button until i see in another video maggie signing off from you bye please subscribe to my mom channel